So piano method level 1A, we are looking at page 31, which is frolic. Uh, we've been working on shifting hand positions, so this is continuing that idea. You're going to see a lot of eighth notes and a lot of shifting. So the right hand, both hands start in C position, right? And then they move to D position, right? And then into the second line, back to, D, back to C position. And then sometimes, like here, the right hand's in D, but the left hand's in C. So they're just getting you to be more versatile about where your hands are at a given moment. Um, and then into the last line, both hands back to C. Uh, the other thing that happens, and we've seen this before, you have one of these fine, DC, all fine things, right? So the first time you're playing all the way to the end, and then you go back to the beginning, and you end at the fine, right? So one and a half times. Okay, so let's take just the right hand. Counting's not too hard. You just have um, eighth notes versus quarter notes, right? So just make sure that your quarter notes are longer, although the sound's short because you've got staccatos, right? So the first couple measures will sound like this. You have one, two, three, four, short, short, three, four, right? So just make sure you're still counting one and two, and just um, those quarter notes are just short versions of quarter notes. All right, um, so just the right hand. One, two, ready with a repeat. One, two, three, two, for D position. to the top with the left hand, same idea, starting in C position, sometimes you're shifting to D, um, and then just keep counting, right? Okay, one, two, ready, and go, and... together. I'll just play it for you. Um, hopefully you can see my hands. Okay, so you have C position, you have D position. Sometimes they're combined, but it's just shifting back and forth. So you, no matter how much you have to shift, just try not to look at your hands. Keep your eyes on the page. One, two, and ready, and go. And...
the beginning. sense so you notice a couple things hopefully with the hand position I'm playing where I'm touching the black keys just a little bit so I can feel where I am if I'm here they all feel the same right but if I'm in here when I make that shift I know that I've made that shift because I can feel the black keys all right so happy practicing